In this lecture, we'll see the data science laboratory first practical that is data wrangling one. So first we'll see what is the exactly the problem statement data wrangling one. So in this assignment number one, we have to perform these following operations and uh, uh, that for that particular we can use any data, uh, any open source data set and the where we can take for any open data set website is available that is www.kaggle.com from kaggle.com we can take any data set and we have to do all these six questions for this assignment so first question is import all the required python libraries so for this first we have to locate the open data set means first we have to download the data set from the kaggle website which is available openly and uh, we have to uh, read the clear description about the data and uh, we have to load that data in uh, data into the pandas data frame so for for loading this we have to use the jupyter notebook and we are doing all these pro programs in a python so first we'll import Py pandas as a pd then we'll read the data set and that data set is available in the uh, csv file so we'll read pd.readcsv and the location of that data set will copy here okay and we'll see what is that data so first a date using data dot head we'll see the data now next task is data pre-processing so we have to check the missing values in the data using the function pandas is null then we have to use the describe function so this describe function is used to get the some initial statistics so what type of statistics it will show it will it will show the count the numerical variable which are available in your data set it will show the count of that data it will show the main then standard deviation then minimum value then 25 percent percentile then 50 percent then 75 percent and the maximum value so in a single describe function it display all these function and what is is null function the is null function display that how many values are missing in your data set so if you write the data dot is null dot sum it display all the features which are available in your data set with their null values so this is the data pre-processing again we can check the data types of the uh, data frame what are the data types of the uh, features which are available in your data set so we for this we can use data dot d types if you want to check the shape of your data means how many columns or how many features and how many records are available in your data set you can use the function data dot shape so it returns you the size of your data next is data formatting and data normalization it summarizes the type of the variable by checking the data types of the variable in the data set and if uh, we have to what we have to do if the variables are not in the correct data type apply the proper type conversion so here uh, we'll see that a database uh, if we see the uh, your uh, column uh, feature that is uh, the uh, base salary so this base salary column is previously it is of type uh, uh, previously it is of different type previously it is of different type and in this we have to check that the change the type uh, change uh, from this we have to change the type conversion and using this type conversion we can apply the type conversion technique here so for this we are doing so base salary initially the base salary data type is float now we have to convert it into the integer so we'll write np dot array data uh, and the feature name that is base salary and what type we have to convert so we'll write as type integer so once we'll uh, apply this and again we'll print the data data dot d type so we'll data we'll see that the base salary data type is get changed so this is this is about the data uh, data what we can say the uh, if data variables are not not in a correct data type we apply the proper type conversion so uh, in uh, what we can say in a data set we can turn the categorical variable into the quantitative variable in a python that is 
we have to apply the uh, technique that is for example if the gender column is present in your uh, data set and uh, uh, female and male two gender columns are uh, two gender values are pre present in a particular gender feature so we can map uh, we can map using uh, we can convert it into the quantitative variable so how to convert it into the quantitative variable will uh, apply will use the map function or replace function suppose male represent the 0 and female represent the 1 so if we write the such a map function so automatically in your data set whenever the female is present it will return as a 0 and whenever the male is present it will return as a 1 thank you